<laughs> Hi-ho, King of the Blog here. Welcome back to TR3 Wrench Time. And guess what we're not working on again today? A TR3. Uh, so uh, apparently you all want to see more Corvette videos, so we're going to do a Corvette video today. Um, this car has really nothing wrong with it, except this little thing. So common problem with uh, pop-up headlights of all sorts, they tend to break things and then chatter or don't work or stay up or wink or one of those things happens. So uh, we are going to replace the nylon gears that are definitely stripped out on this with very, very expensive brass ones. That's, that's what's going on here. Yeah. Let's get into it. Clearly what we've done already is taped off the paint. If if you like your car, yeah. you do stuff like this to, to be nice to it. Do you want to show him the uh, the, the, the fender the fender protectors you bought for the car? Oh yeah. We, <laughs> we, this should be the fender protector. Yeah. So uh, we bought Mitch bought fender protectors uh, to you know protect the fenders when we work on this car. However, on a Corvette, here here is here is a fender. And it's now there's no fender, so we don't need fender protectors for this car. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So unplug. One, okay. So, oh, look at that. And you have. Oh, yeah. One headlights. Our headlight assembly is out of the Corvette, and what we need to do is get into this gear housing. In order to do that, there's a bolt we took out here. There's a bolt we took out on this side as a Torx bolt. There's also one that's buried down here. Now, in order to get to that one, what we're going to have to do is get this whole carrier out. So we're going to start by uh, hammering out with a thin punch this pin down here. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, I just need to go further because now I can get to this nut in here, this screw in here. Fun fact for everybody at home. If you're having trouble with your 3 8 ratchet, make sure you leave it under the hood of your Corvette for a good hour or so while you go to lunch so it's nice and hot when you get back. T27 nuts are, are the order of the day for these motor housings. Okay. And now we have a fully separated motor and they're quarter inch. Look at all that. What's left of the gears. So I think we should be able to get this out of here. 
somehow. Nice little corrosion going on in there, huh? Oh, look, you can see, like, the... Oh, ooh. That's the... What's left of the... Yeah, I mean, you can still... It's what's left of all the teeth of the gears. Like... There we go. Jesus. Look at that good stuff. Let's get a bag and make sure we save that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody blows his nose. You want to save some? You want to keep it? Yep, look at that. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, that's where you put the cocaine. Oh, wait, no, this isn't a DeLorean. <laughs> yeah. Oof. It's in fucking bad shape. It's like old cheese. It smells a little bit like old cheese, too. <laughs> Why did you just put your notes in that? Through there. There's some some shim washers I at the bottom. I Steve's container that could come in handy someday. We're, we're going to put that on eBay and sell it as good. Just, just original, original. Original. Original equipment. Yeah. Oh. Abs of those freaking bushings that are in there. Yeah. Yeah, they gone. They gone. See, there was stuff for us to fix on this car. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. And we got some. Silicone. There we go. That's the ticket. Back in the housing it goes. Booyah. All right, so that in theory should be one headlight fully reassembled with new gears. We're gonna pop it back in the car and see if we had some success. fine. It's gonna work fine. You just have to plug it in first. No clunking. Uh, 